Alright guys, how's it going? It's Gaz here on Transfer Daily for Full Time Devils. Let's get straight into this uh, and talk about the big story today regarding Manchester United. Now you may have thought during January there's not actually been many class players that we've been linked to and that's rare because we're usually linked to about 50 different players during a transfer window, aren't we? Well, this could be the reason why. According to a French media outlet, we have had a meeting with Pep Guardiola in Paris, of all places, uh, to discuss him taking over from Louis van Gaal as the Man United manager. So this is huge news, if it is true, of course. I have to stress that, if it is true. It's just a, a French media outlet saying it. Um, but yeah, apparently we've had a meeting with Pep to get him in after Louis. Now, one would assume that that would be at the end of this season. For me, it makes perfect sense for us to go to Pep Guardiola now. Um, Louis van Gaal, it really does feel like he did a great job, didn't he, taking us from 7th to 4th. And he's done a fantastic job of steadying the ship. But with the money spent and with the style of football we've got to sit through every single week, you want more than steady in the ship, don't you? You want him to take us to the next level. And some people will say, oh, Gaz, it's not even been two years yet. You can't expect him to take it to the next level, challenge for the league yet. Personally, I disagree. I think with the money spent and, like I say, the fact that we've got to sit through this awful football, let's face it, it is awful football every week. We want to at least be seeing results and it seems like we're not this season. Last season, he did a great job, brought some great youngsters into the club. But now, for me, is the time to bring someone else in and take us to that next level. Pep Guardiola would be that man. I think if he came in in summer, he would really profit from the young players that Louis van Gaal has helped bring in to Manchester United. The likes of Memphis Depay, the likes of Anthony Marshall. For me, it makes perfect sense for us to be going in for Pep. However, Man United came out after these reports, basically straight away saying, yeah, not us, we've had no contact with Pep Guardiola. Basically just ruling it out completely. Obviously that doesn't mean that Man United are telling the complete truth, but uh, it means that maybe Louis van Gaal doesn't know that he's leaving at the end of this season. Maybe he's got a sack him waiting for him. But we will see. If we get top four, I can't see him sacking him. And the only way I can see him leaving is if he leaves himself. You know what I mean? Um, but we will see on that front. It's going to be a very interesting summer with Man United and whether we have Louis van Gaal next season. Right, moving on from managers, let's talk about potential players coming in. Like I said before, we've had no real massive names linked to us. And it's the same again today. Today, it's a youngster that I'm going to be talking about. His name is Tahith Chong. So he's 16 years old. He can play a striker, play on the left. He can play in midfield. He's a young Dutch lad and it's doing my head in the way that certain footballers that we're linked to now are genuinely almost born in the year 2000. That is absolutely crazy to me. But yeah, Tahith Chong is a player that we've apparently gone in for. If you know a bit more about him, get in the comments. You tell me about him because honestly, I am not sure on the lad. I've never watched him play in my life. 16 years old, could come in and boost our academy potentially because there's been a lot of people slagging off our academy recently and some would say probably for the right reason because we've not had many class young players coming through it in a very long time. Uh, and finishing on this, I'm sure you all heard about this yesterday, Victor Valdez. So it seems like that he thinks he's left Man United. He put a message on Twitter basically thanking the fans for all their support. And then he said, you know, until I see you next time with the Manchester United, uh, with, with the name Manchester United, the club name, going across it as a picture in the background. So it seems like that was basically a farewell message. But he's not left yet. There were reports yesterday from the Independent uh, saying that he is going on loan. But whether that is going to happen, we will see. I'm sure it's going to be confirmed today or around this weekend anyway. Either way, very unlikely we're going to see Victor Valdez in a United shirt again. I'm sure when he comes back, we will not be renewing his contract. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think about all them things. That Pep Guardiola stuff is potentially huge. So get in the comments. Tell me what you think about Pep coming in at the end of the season or maybe even sooner. I've been Gaz. Well, he couldn't come sooner. He's at Bayern Munich. Could have actually. Uh, but he could he come at the end of the season? Tell me in your comments below. Professionalism. Anyway, I've been Gaz on Full Time Devils. I'll see you in a bit. This is Transfer Daily and I've got some belters here for you this morning. Two big strikers on their way in and a couple of people on their way out. Let's get straight into it.